Finding your main in a fighting game is one of the most important things a player decides when they first start playing. For some people, it's very easy, and they almost immediately know who they want to main. But for people like me, finding a main can take some time, and can be somewhat difficult to decide on who you want to main. The reason it's so important to make sure you pick the right character is since you don't want to be practicing and putting in so much time into a character that just isn't right for you. With so many great and fun characters, I found it very difficult to stick with one character as I always find myself switching between many characters I enjoy maining. I've gone through Falco, Tails, Pikachu, Pac-Man, Bandana D, Goku, Game & Watch, Ness, and the list goes on. There's so many things to consider when picking a main, and it can be very difficult at times. So I'll be going over some of the most important things to consider when picking a main. Usually when I ask someone why they main a certain character, the most common response is that they're fun to play, and in my opinion, that's the single most important reason to play a character. If you only care about winning, I'm not really sure why you play SSF2, but I suppose if that was the case, having fun wouldn't be your main priority. If that's the case, you should probably just choose a character who you think is the best in the game. But for most of us, we play SSF2 to have fun, because well, it's a pretty fun game, even when played competitively. Yes, you can still play competitively and want to win and still have fun, but it's a lot less fun when you're playing a character you don't like, just so you can win. This is why I think it's really important to make sure you actually like the character you're playing. For some people like me, there's just so many characters I enjoy playing that it's hard for me to really pick one and stick with them for more than like a week, since I find someone else I also enjoy. However, the opposite can happen too, where someone doesn't really enjoy any of the characters and they find it hard to find one that they do like. If that's the case, I recommend considering what you're looking for in a character and what characters you play in other Smash games. A good strategy for finding a main, besides the characters you have fun with, is to find out what kind of character you're looking for and what you want them to be able to do. This is easiest to do by sorting characters into categories and archetypes. If you want a character who can play aggressively and be very flashy with combos, then you probably want to play a rushdown character. But if you want a character who's very technical and creative and unique, you probably want to play a tricky or unique character. I personally tend to play well-rounded characters or rushdown characters because I find them more fun, but it really depends on your playstyle. Finding your playstyle is very important for finding a character you like to play. If you aren't sure what playstyle you are, you should consider who you play in other Smash games and what you want your character to be able to do. Some people don't have just one playstyle they prefer, and they like a mix of playstyles, which is fine. Also, some characters can fit multiple playstyles depending on how you play them, such as Naruto or Falco, who can both be aggressive in rushdown or more zoning and defensive. Another thing a lot of people consider when choosing a main is how good they are at the character. For some players, they find a character they can do decently with or play pretty well, and they stick with that character. This isn't so bad as long as you actually enjoy the character you're playing, but it can also be a trap for new players as it limits their skill cap. If this is the strategy you're going for, you're most likely going to go for characters who are easier for newcomers. I like to think if you play a character you enjoy playing, even if you're not that good at them, over time by practicing them you can become good at them. So in the long run, it's probably more beneficial to play a character you enjoy but aren't as good at. Similarly to that topic, I wanted to briefly talk about viability in characters. Some people feel that if they want to compete in tournaments or be able to do well, they have to play a top tier. And if you want to play a top tier, then go ahead. There's a very negative stigma about top tiers and I don't really understand why. You should be allowed to play whatever characters you enjoy. You should be allowed to play good characters if you want to, so it's annoying when people complain about other people doing it, whether they find the character fun or they just want to become a better player. But on the other hand, you shouldn't feel like you're obligated to pick a top tier. You should just play whoever you enjoy and not worry about tiers too much. In SF2, basically every character can do fairly well. I've used this analogy before, but there really is no melee Kirby of SSF2 or Brawl Meta Knight. The balance is good enough where you can still do well and compete in tournaments with basically the whole roster, besides a couple of characters debatably. However, there are still some people who play low tiers or mid tiers and feel like they need to switch to a top tier in order to compete. That's usually a trap people get into when they're angry or frustrated and feel like they need to blame their character. Sometimes it is the character, but more often than not you can still improve as a player. But every time I've seen someone switch to Meta Knight as their main when they're frustrated, they tend not to do well. Also, I wanted to briefly talk about another strategy for finding your main, which I don't really use as much, which is character design. Finding a character who you like can influence who you main. Like for example, maybe you'll pick Naruto because you like his show, or you like Mega Man because of his Mega Man games. While these things aren't necessarily bad, I tend not to go based off them. For example, in 9B, I really enjoyed playing Sheik because of her fast-paced rushdown playstyle, which was fairly combo-heavy. But I don't really care too much for Sheik as a character. Usually when I pick a main, I go off playstyles and how fun they are to play more than the characters themselves. But either way is fine, it really comes down to personal preference. For example, in Beta, I really like Falco, Pikachu, and Tails a lot, who are all pretty rushdown playstyle characters. Though, out of those three, I tend to play more Falco, since I think I'm better at Falco than my Pikachu and Tails, but I still play all three a decent amount. Anyways, I hope I helped you guys find your mains in SF2 if you haven't already. That's about all for this video. Thanks for watching.